Hey guys, welcome to episode 13 of the mini Grave Digger Monster Truck build. In this episode, we're going to start installing the Power Wheels body and install a quieter muffler. We got to make this thing start looking the part of the Grave Digger. So that means we got to get this body in there. Uh, to me, this body reminds me a lot of a oversized radio control car body. It's kind of a thin plastic shell. So uh, I'm gonna try to mount it like a radio control car body. I went ahead and made some uh, little body mounts like you'd find on a radio control car. So, you know, we'll have the hole drilled in the body. Uh, this piece will be mounted to the chassis. It'll stick up through a hole in the body and we'll just slide pins through. It'll be just like an oversized RC car. Oh yeah, starting to look the part now. Got ourselves some uh, sweet little body mount posts. I also want to accomplish getting this thing running better and making it quieter. My youngest boy is pretty intimidated by the noise this thing makes and uh, I'm sure if I could uh, get it a little quieter, uh, he would be less afraid to drive it. If you watched the video where I took the engine out of the quad, you'll uh, know that when I bought that quad it didn't come with a carburetor. I bought an aftermarket Makuni and uh, put it in the quad and it ran pretty good. The quad exhaust was quite restrictive and pretty quiet. So I think the jetting that I had in that uh, Makuni carb to begin with worked pretty well with that exhaust. And then when I put the engine in the uh, Grave Digger, I put uh, a very open big bore motorcycle exhaust on it. So there was no back pressure and um, it drastically changed the way the jetting worked on that carburetor. So before I can do any adjusting of jets and, and trying to dial in that carburetor, I need to finalize the exhaust. I went to my local auto parts store and found a muffler that uh, I'm gonna try to make work. It's too long, but a cool thing about this is that the inlet and outlet are on the same end of the muffler. And it's pretty small dimensionally this way. So I'm going to attempt to uh, cut this thing open see what's inside and see if I can't modify it and make it shorter. I've never actually opened up a muffler before, so it'd be a kind of a fun experience. So as I mentioned, I've never uh, taken apart a muffler before. I don't see many welds. You know, there's some spot welds that I see that must hold maybe some internal baffles or maybe where these tubes come in. There's not much at this end. I see, you know, one, one little spot weld here. But it almost appears that, uh, you know, they've got some fancy sheet metal tools that hem this over and pinch and it's just maybe all just held together with, you know, friction of the metal against metal. So uh, I'm going to take a chisel and hammer and see if I can't just pop the end off of this thing. We'll see what happens. It was, uh, it, the, muff, the whole muffler was only 20 bucks, so if, if this doesn't work, I'm not out a whole lot.
interesting. It appears that the exhaust comes in, kind of expands out into this big open area here. There's nothing inside the muffler at this end. Uh, maybe that's just to allow it to uh, expand in there and not experience too much pressure. And then it has to go back through a chamber that goes down the center and then comes over here, has to come back up to get to the end of this tube and then go out. So uh, from right here to here, or actually where these spot welds are, is the actual muffler. I'm gonna try cutting off most of this expansion chamber of this muffler because I need it to be considerably shorter. So I'm just gonna get rid of a lot of that. Obviously I gotta leave room in this end for the gases to be able to expand a little and then reroute and go back the other direction through the muffler. My hope is that since this muffler was designed for a car with a uh, much larger engine than 454 cc's, uh, eliminating most of this expansion chamber on this end of the muffler should be okay. I'm not pumping as much air through it as a, a larger car engine would be. So, but then again, this is just an experiment. I have no idea uh, if this is actually gonna work. I'm just trying to make it quieter and then adjust the jetting to work with whatever exhaust I have to get it to run good. And what I'm after is low and mid-range torque and smooth. You know, I don't need wide open throttle in this thing, uh, at least not until the kids get a little older. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut five and a half inches off the length of this, and that'll still leave me a, you know, a two inch long expansion chamber uh, for the gases to reroute through this muffler. We'll give it a shot. The little cordless uh, Makita grinder made short work of that. Makita, not a sponsor, yet. <laughs> so we'll see, hopefully that's enough of an expansion chamber for those gases to come out of this tube, you know, fill this pocket here and then exit out the other tube there. Uh, I'm guessing it should be okay, but then again, I'm no uh, exhaust expert, so. All right, we'll give it a shot. I'll try uh, cleaning up these edges, maybe opening up this along here a little bit, see if I can't press that back on there. And then, uh, you know, I don't have the correct tools to crimp this on here the way this was, so I'll probably put a, you know, get it on there as best I can and put a few tack welds around there. Just open up the door, because this has got uh, galvanized on it or something, so I don't want to be breathing that. So, all right, I'll give it a go. We cut five and a half inches out of this muffler. Uh, that makes it small enough that I can kind of fit it in there. Now I know that uh, my original plan was to do, you know, a Y pipe off of the head and make some headers that emulated monster truck type headers. And uh, I hope you guys will forgive me, but the priority now is to make this thing as quiet as possible so that my five-year-old isn't too intimidated by it. I'll go ahead and use these little fake chrome pipes that were on the power wheels body when I bought it. So uh, that'll have to do guys, I'm sorry. Hopefully you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. <laughs> All right, got the muffler stuffed in there. It's kind of a tight fit, even shortening it five and a half inches, but it works pretty well. It just comes out of the head, curls around, goes through the muffler, gets muffled, comes out here. I need to add a uh, tip that kind of turns and gets it out from underneath the body. I don't want the exhaust coming up inside the uh, cockpit area. But uh, you can see a little bit of smoke coming out of there. I already started it up. It sounds pretty good. I'm excited. I'll show you.
Well, here's what I came up with for the exhaust. I uh, shortened that muffler like I showed you before. Uh, put a tip on it to kind of kick the exhaust out and back. And uh, here you can see there's the input to the muffler. Um, goes on there, I wrapped it with header tape. Hopefully that'll keep uh, most of the heat inside it and flowing out. Um, I could also do some aluminum heat shields inside here as well if I need to. But I'm going to try this first. And then I also, uh, for the header that comes out of the top of the motorcycle engine, I also welded in a uh, bung for an O2 sensor. So I can really dial in the jetting on that carburetor. And uh, we'll get it running really good. Alright, let's put it all together. stop myself from taking this thing out and test driving it but each time I do it just covers itself in mud um, I wanted to show one little addition here that I thought was pretty cool check out the shift knob wouldn't be a grave digger without a skull shift knob right what are you guys doing raking the leaves. why are you raking leaves so we can drive the grave digger <laughs> Well, I suppose I should probably let them drive that grave digger now. You know, we got all those leaves raked up.
If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and share this video with your friends. If you want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next